what is going on everybody welcome back to my channel i'm emmanuel this is abalang outdoors today we're out here trolling it's a beautiful day if the weatherman is correct it'll be a beautiful day and we're just gonna see what happens today the bite has been absolutely crazy spring fishing is here thank you guys so much for being here watching this video now let's get to fishing guys so first things first we're gonna send down our planer bait to see which some mylar on the bottom and a bait strip looking for that wahoo baby let's go all right guys so we've been trolling for about 45 minutes here nothing yet but that's just how trolling goes one day you catch a wahoo, one day you can't even catch a bonita. All right guys, it has been about two hours of us trolling and nothing yet. We're on a jet ski, we only have a bottom bait and a surface bait. So it's not always the easiest thing to troll off a jet ski. Sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't. We're heading a little deeper right now. We're gonna get ready to do some deep dropping. So we're just trolling our way out there. And we'll see what happens. All right, guys, so we got some squid here. We have a three hook rig. It's gonna push our squid through once, twist the hook, push it through again, just like that. Sending it down to the bottom, just like that. And then we have a seven pound lead to help us maintain bottom. We are fishing in basically 800 feet of water. And our main target right now is golden towel fish. And we'll just see what happens, guys. Nothing's promised. Three pieces of squid, seven pound lead. Sending her down. Guys, we got one on. I hope he's still on there. Got a fish on there, guys. Guys, it was slow there for a second. I'm not sure what exactly it is, but as soon as it hit the bottom, we got pounded. 76 meters to go. Let's see what we got. Oh, stringer of rosies, baby. Ah, nice rosies. Uh, whoo. Wow, that is a moose. Holy crap. All right, guys, this one, this is a nice size Rosie. But this one, oh, that, that is a whopper Rosie right there, guys. Got him. Look at the mouth on this fish. This is one crazy looking fish. Wow. Since I know there's rosies down there, I switched over to four hook rig, a little smaller hooks, just cause the rosies are a little bit smaller than tiles. So no need for the big hooks. Hopefully we hook some more here. Guys, check out how beautiful it is out here right now. Absolutely flat, calm. Not a breath of wind in it. It's actually pretty hot right now. But guys, I've been drifting and drifting and drifting. Still have not got another bite other than those two rosies. So we're just gonna keep trying. Should be hitting bottom right now. There we go. Got it up out of the mud. Sending it right back down to the bottom. There we go, we're getting bit right there. There we go. Got him on. Yes! That rod tip right there, guys. That's what we're looking for. Yep. Got him. Woohoo! I love deep dropping so much. 80 meters to go. 
I'm assuming it's just a bunch more rosies. Or maybe one, maybe it's another big one. Woo! Nice dump. That was a nice dump there. Wow, that thing is stumping hard. What is, it just came off. It just came off. It just came off, it's a tile. Oh my gosh. Holy crap. Holy crap, holy crap, holy crap, holy crap. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Woo. Oh my gosh, guys. It was fighting a little harder than a rosy would, but I just caught a rosy at this spot. Look at that, guys. Golden towel fish. <sighs> guys. If this fish is one of the most pretty fish you have ever seen, leave a thumbs up. Look at that, guys. The blue anal fin. The dorsal fin is yellow. Absolutely insane. Beautiful fish right there, guys. Beautiful fish. There we have it, guys. The Miami golden tile. Right there, baby. What an amazing fish. And this isn't a very small one, I would say. But I'm not complaining. This is dinner right here. Look at that fish, man. Absolutely beautiful. There is very few fish I can say that are as pretty as this fish right here. And he's feisty for a little one. We are back home and look at this stud rosy this is the biggest one i have ever caught this thing is like 16 inches so we're gonna get ready and knock the sides off of them gonna come right up in here with our knife up into the head then we're gonna outline them just run your knife all the way down the back of the fish. Once you do that, take your knife, run it back up. This guy's bleeding a little bit. We're gonna lift up and just cut away cut down over the backbone ah. and there you go guys and if you guys look right in here you'll see a super dark black lining that is why they are called black belly rose fish and if you look right in here I left it on there because that's a rib cage. You'll see that super dark, dark color there. And that's just the lining of their belly for some reason. All right, guys, your next step, taking the meat off of the skin. Just gonna hold back here at the end of the filet. And just press down and just push with your knife. And usually you don't get much meat off of rosies, but this is a nice filet. And my favorite thing about rosies, there is literally no bloodline there. Just beautiful white meat. So we're gonna come in here, gonna clean out this rib area. Look at that. Beautiful P 
piece of fish right there. All right, guys, now we have our golden towel. I'm gonna quickly knock the sides off of them. I'm gonna come in here, cut up into my fish's head. Then we're gonna make an outline and just continue that all the way down the back of the fish. You're gonna take your knife, run it back up. Lift up. Cut down over the backbone. I'm gonna cut over the rib cage. All right guys, but before we take the filet completely off, so our fish isn't uneven, we're gonna knock off the other side as well. So we're gonna start back here. We're gonna outline our fish. Then run your knife down and outline. I'm gonna come in here, cut over the rib cage, cut up into the head. One fillet, two fillets. Absolutely beautiful piece of meat there. Definitely one of the best eating fish out there. It's gonna take hold on the skin back here and just push our knife all the way down the fillet. Get out of here. Take up our fillet. I'm gonna come in here, feel for our pin bones. Cut that out, cut that out, and we're left with that. No bloodline, absolutely delicious, beautiful white meat right there. Same exact thing, hold right here at the back of the filet, just push your knife all the way down. And guys, if you see any of the gear I'm wearing and you like it, you wanna get 20% off, head over to whatthefin.com, use my code IBO20 for 20% off of anything on the website. We'll see you guys in the kitchen. All right, guys. So we're in the kitchen now. All three of these fillets right here are rosy, and then we have one piece of golden tile. So first, I'm gonna take some black pepper. Not too much, just enough. Then we have some paprika. Gonna add that much. Finally, just some salt. I wanna be careful with salt. I don't wanna to add too much. So we're gonna take some butter here. And get that in our pot. Let's get that all over there. Then we have some green onions. I'm gonna go ahead and add those in there. All right, guys, and then we're gonna use chimichurri. It's a steak sauce. I have never used this. I've, I, I just saw it in the cabin. I was like, I'm gonna try this out. So we're gonna add some of this into there. We're gonna mix that in. It smells delicious. And then we're gonna come in here Add our fish to that. Look at that. Mm. Just gonna make sure our fish don't stick initially as soon as you put fish in the pot. You want to move it around and make sure it doesn't stick. And now we wait, wait till it cooks about halfway and then we flip it. All right guys, time to flip our fish. 
Look at that. You can just tell that the golden towel the way it wants to fall apart. Look at that. Alright guys, just like that, our fish is done. Look at it, it literally just wants to fall apart. Put that there. And guys, <laughs> this is the reason why people let golden towels sit in the cooler for two to three days, just so the meat firms up a little bit. Look at this. I'm not even going to be able to get it in the plate without it falling apart. But we will try. Put that there. There we go. And then we're gonna come in with some corn we cooked earlier. Gonna add some rice as well. And dinner is served, guys. All right, guys, there's only one thing left to do. I have the golden towel. I know it has the rosy. We're gonna see how it tastes with chimichurri. All right, so first you have to do this. See that? You have to mix the corn with the rice. You put a little corn on the fish. This is a $70 dinner right here. That is a fact. For <laughs> free. That's what I'm talking about. It I will good. say, guys, the golden towel does taste funny. I usually let it sit on the ice for about three days. It just tastes kind of chewy. I don't know. This is good, though. No, I know that's good. But this, it's not bad. I was going to taste that, but never mind. It just needs to sit on the ice for a couple of days. And now it's Toya's turn to try her fish. And I take back what I said about the golden towel. It just, it's just different. It still tastes delicious. I don't like that fish. It looks like a mermaid. <laughs> and I don't eat mermaid. The seasoning and everything comes together though. Oh my God, the fish is running through. It's still delicious. Oh yeah. It looks like crab. People say it does taste like, um, Similar to, to crab or lobster. That is chewy and it has less flavor than this. It definitely is a little bit chewy. All right, guys. And that is it for another episode. Until next time, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like what we're doing here, leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.